Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a super scribbly text effect in Adobe Illustrator. Rightio, so we're now in Illustrator and you can see an example on screen of the scribble effect that we're going to be creating. And if I zoom out, we're working on an artboard that is a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high. So let's select this and delete this. And if I select the type tool and just left click anywhere on the artboard, I can then type some text and we'll just scale that up holding shift. And from the character panel at the top or on the right hand side, we can select our font properties. So I'm using the font Gotham Bold and I think the size I'll set to, we'll go for 120. And I'm going to reduce the tracking as well. So I'm going to set this to minus 40 just to bring all of the letters a little bit closer together. But all of this is still fully editable. And you can do this for text, for shapes with fills, for shapes with strokes. Anything created in Illustrator can have this effect applied. So when you're happy, just select off of that. So we have our text and we're going to select this and go to Effect, Stylize and Scribble and it will bring up this dialog box here and you can select the preview box at the bottom just to preview any changes you make in real time. And we're going to go through each of these now just to understand exactly what they do. And to start with you have a ton of different presets so we can click through these. So we have childlike for example, that's probably something that my son would do to be fair, he is too so I will give him a break but we have loose, sharp, sketch lots of great starting points i'm going to start with default for this tutorial and of course the first thing is to adjust the angle so you can type in a number here in degrees or you can grab this and just adjust the angle of your scribble this is the direction that the lines are going to be running along now the path overlap adjusts whether the path is a little bit more on the inside or the outside so if i bring this to the left slightly you can see it starts to contract and become a bit smaller if you, you do have a decimal place on any of these settings, uh, sometimes it doesn't render correctly. So I'd always round that up to minus six pixels instead of having like a 0.1 and 0.2. And you can see it gets a lot smaller there. And if we just remove the minus sign and we'll go for positive six. And as I gradually increase this up, you can see it just expands more around the outside. So we have inside or outside, or we could just set this back to zero and it will be straight in the center. Now all of these, whether it's the path overlap, the curviness or the spacing, they have a variation slider underneath. Now if we drag this to none, there will be no variation in how the paths overlap, whether it's on the inside or the outside. Or we can drag this slider up to create a wider variation. Essentially this means making it more random. So if I just drag this up slightly to three pixels, you can see, okay, we can still read the word, but it's just become a little bit rough around the edges, a bit more scribbly, for want of a better word. We'll go for six. And you can see as I bring this up, the text does start to lose its form and it becomes a lot rougher. If I bring this back to zero, you can see it very clearly all of the letters, the shape is retained nicely and we can clearly see all of the forms, albeit with a scribble effect. So that's variation on path overlap. Now we've got the stroke width here. Of course, as the name suggests, we could have a very thin stroke or we could just gradually increase this one pixel at a time and the stroke will get progressively thicker. And depending on the size of artboard you're working on, if it is a huge artboard, you may need to drag this slider all the way up here. But if I do this on this artboard that is a thousand pixels wide and high, it just goes off the edge of the screen. So feel free to drag these sliders and just to find something that you're happy with. And of course, with preview selected, you can see everything updated in real time. So next we have the curviness. So if we drag this down to 0%, it is, as the name says, very angular, very sharp edged, very hard edged. I mean, as we bring this up, let's just bring that stroke width down. As we bring this up, it becomes more loopy. So much more rounded, much more curvy. And at the very extreme, it looks something like this, which might be what you're going for. But if I bring this about halfway, we can again adjust the variation 
and this will just make it a lot more random and a little less predictable in its style. So you can see the difference here. Angular with no variation and as I bring this up, it just becomes a little bit more random and there's a bit more variety in the curviness on each of the strokes. And the same for spacing really. So at the moment the, the spacing of the scribbles, the lines are very tightly packed together and we can gradually increase this and it becomes considerably looser. So uh, that's basically illegible. So we'll start small. You can see just around the edges that little kind of scribble. And as I slowly bring this one up, you get a much more defined scribble effect. And the letters, as I say, are still very much defined. We can increase the variation there. But if you do want the letters to be less kind of defined and a bit more scribbly, again, it's just back to the path overlap variation. And we just bring that up a little bit and it just creates that uh, much more scribbly, childlike, hand-drawn look. And when you're happy, you click OK. And from the Appearance panel on the right, or if you don't see this, just go to Window, down to Appearance. And you'll see this listed as Scribble, and you can turn the visibility of this effect on or off. You can drag it to the trash if you'd like to delete it, or you can just click on it and it brings back the scribble options box and you can edit all the settings and click OK. And this effect will stay editable and you can type in some new text. Or if it's on a shape with a fill or a stroke, you can edit that and it will still keep this effect. Now, while it's editable and that's great, if you are creating this as part of, let's say, a more complex illustration uh, or a logo or something and you'd like to go ahead and start using pathfinder tools and combining shapes or whatever it is and you need to uh, convert this to outlines or expand it just select this go to object expand appearance and this will no longer be listed on the right hand side you cannot edit the scribble effect but now we do have a shape with a stroke and we can adjust that from the stroke panel similar to how you would any shape created in illustrator and if we go into outline mode that's command or control y You'll see we have all the lines that represent these paths. And if we'd like to go one step further, we can go to Object, Expand, make sure that Fill and Stroke are selected. And now we no longer have a stroke, we have a black fill, and we can change the fill color to anything from the Swatches panel. And again, if we go into Outline Mode, that's Command or Control Y, it looks something like this. We do have these kind of breaks in the shape here where they do overlap. But we combine this all together into one shape by just dragging over everything, going to Pathfinder panel and selecting the top left option, Unite. And you'll see it just merges any of those paths that overlap all into one complete shape. And there we go. That's how to create a super duper scribbly wibbly text effect in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.